Hi guys! This is Canon PIXMA TS5151 in front of me and in this video I will show you how to connect this multifunctional printer to your smartphone. I'm going to show you both how to print using your home network or via Wi-Fi direct, so subscribe to Signal Guru, thumbs up and let's go! First, make sure your printer is ready to work. I mean, it's powered on, it makes no sounds, it keeps quiet, and you have paper in the cassette or slash end in the rear tray. Uh, now, lift up the front panel until it gets fixed and extend the output tray like this. And let's continue on your smartphone. And what you need to do on your smartphone first is install Canon Print application. It's available both for iPhone and Android, so open your respective application store, install Canon Print and open the application. Once open, scroll down, hit check all and press OK. Now on this step you need to give this application all permission at once, because otherwise you will not be able to manage your printer properly. So let's allow. And now move on to the printer's display. On the printer's control panel use the navigation arrows to select the Wi-Fi icon and press OK. Now make sure the cursor is on the LAN settings. Once again press OK. Now go to wireless LAN menu. OK, and select Wireless LAN Setup. Uh, first, let's try Easy Wireless Connect. So select this item, press OK. Settings will be made on a computer or smartphone, etc. OK, yes, OK. Now on your smartphone in Canon Print application, make sure you are on the Home tab and tap on Search. To set up the network connection, connect your smartphone directly to your printer, select Join on the following dialog. So press OK here. Uh, easier printed listed below. Oh, we, we, have, a, we have next pop-up. So uh, Print wants to join Wi-Fi network of Canon printer. OK, let's join. Uh, now your, printed, your printer is not on this list, so uh, press No. Uh, we see next window now, the printer will be connected to the following wireless router and this is my home network name. Tap on yes. This may take more than 90 seconds, but usually it's faster. Once you see this screen, everything is connected and you can choose your favorite photo and try it out or just close this screen and go to the Canon Print application menu. Do you want to save the network name and password? in the app to make it easy to connect your printer to the network again. Why not? OK. Uh, also, you can decline notifications if you want. Notifications are not required to work properly, but let's accept. Allow notifications. Now you can use Canon Print application to print documents, photos, make scans and even make copies right from your smartphone. Let's print a document first. So go to Documents, select one. Now check your document, tap Next, and let's change settings of this print. How many copies do you want? One or more. Uh, how many pages of this document you want to print? You can select Pages and specify. Uh, this one will print first page only, for example. Print with paper that is set up on printer. Uh, what is the setting for? The matter is when you uh, insert in the paper into this printer, it asks you uh, which kind of paper is this and what is the size of the paper. So you can check this checkbox if you set up your paper settings in the printer control panel and you don't have to uh, set it up on your smartphone. Uh, but let's go through the remaining settings. So paper size, I, I'm using A4 currently, uh, same as original size. Mm, yes, because my scale fits the original size of the paper. So now you can uh, select media type, type, plain paper is okay, I'm using plain paper. Uh, you can print color or monochrome, let's print color. 
Uh, and this is two-sided mode, but we have just only one side so far. So let's go back and tap on print. Print with the following printer for the first time. Please confirm. Yes. Now let's go back and try to scan something. Back to the main menu, tap on scan. To scan document, open the scanning unit lid and place the document facing down and align top left corner with this arrow pointing to the corner of the scanning surface. So like this, so top left corner, align to this arrow and here you can see some uh, paper size markers b5 a4 letter so uh, my sheet reaches a4 now close the lid next in the canon print application tap on scan but you can also change settings uh, original type document or photo color mode, color or monochrome scan, and paper size. It's A4, so we don't need to change. Now let's tap on scan. And we've got the scanning result over here. So if you want to add one more page to this document, once again, open the lid and insert your second sheet, align to the arrow, close the lid and press scan or press exit to save your documents. This is scan result. Now tap on share button. Use as JPEG, as image or as PDF file. I prefer PDF for scans and save it to your files. Let's say to documents. You can rename your document over here and tap on save. Now let's close this screen, delete the scan result, please confirm. We already saved our result, so we can delete it from the application's memory. And now let's test one more feature, smartphone copy. To copy documents from your smartphone, place the document on the flat surface, then tap on smartphone copy in the Canon application and take a picture of your document. Now adjust edges. Just drag these edges or corners and tap next. If result is OK, uh, hit done. If you are not satisfied, go back and retake the picture like this. Next, done. And specify a compression ratio, let's say low compression. Uh, this is your final result, so you can save it as a scan, same as we saved the scan before, and or tap next to print. So the same settings as for regular print. Paper size is A4, it's okay for me, so let's print. If you wish to print, scan or copy from your smartphone without connecting printer to your home Wi-Fi network, you can use Wi-Fi Direct. To do this, on the printer's control panel, uh, use the navigation arrows to select the Wi-Fi icon. Press OK. Press LAN settings. And select Wireless Direct. Now press OK. Oh, press OK one more time to activate Wireless Direct. Select on and turn it on. It's processing. So now on the next page, uh, you will see uh, credentials to connect your smartphone to the printer. So tap on yes. Uh, this is your printer's network name. Now press the down arrow to find password. So write this password somewhere, write down this password to connect your smartphone. Now press OK. And now you have some settings of Wi-Fi direct, direct. You can change device name, you can change password. Uh, use this uh, round arrow to go back always. So uh, let's 
leave everything as is and try to connect our smartphone to the printer. Now press OK. And now you have some settings of Wi-Fi direct, direct. You can change device name, you can change password. Uh, use this uh, round arrow to go back always. So uh, let's leave everything as is and try to connect our smartphone to the printer. On a smartphone, you need to make your way to the Wi-Fi setting. So let's open Control Central on I've Central. On the smartphone, you need to make your way to Wi-Fi settings. So let's open Control Center on iPhone, tap and hold on the Wi-Fi icon, go to Wi-Fi. Now find your printer's network and connect to it using the password you just wrote down. Tap Join. Smartphone is successfully connected, no internet connection. So uh, keep in mind that if you use Wi-Fi direct, you can browse internet from Wi-Fi. You can use mobile data instead. Uh, so now you can go to Canon print application and do the same things like we did before. Notice that this application has four tabs at the bottom. So explore the features by yourself, go to menu, go to functions, customize your home screen. And now uh, let me show you manual method of connection. If something went wrong on your smartphone, smartphone doesn't see the printer, so uh, you can connect the printer manually. To set up printer manually, you don't need to use a smartphone or a PC. Everything is gonna be set up from the printer's control panel. So uh, select the Wi-Fi icon. Now you can see small smartphone next to my Wi-Fi icon. This is because my printer is already connected. I'm just showing you the steps. If you're connecting your printer from scratch, you will, you will, you will just see uh, Wi-Fi icon cross tower. So uh, select the Wi-Fi, press OK. If you see this window, Answer yes. Uh, now go to LAN settings, wireless LAN, wireless LAN setup, and select manual connect. It's searching for wireless rotor. So select Wi Fi network you wish to connect to. Uh, select use one Wi-Fi router only or use multiple Wi-Fi routers, for example, if you have mesh system set up in your house. So let's just use one so far. Check the MAC address of the target wireless router by referring to the wireless router manual. Okay, uh, so I have few routers here, so let's select any. If you have just one router, you will see just only one MAC address here and press OK. Uh, now you need to enter password. It's not easy. Uh, you need to use navigation arrows. So first press OK. And now enter your Wi-Fi password. And each time you need to press OK when you're selecting a letter. To switch to digits, use this button at the bottom left. OK to switch to digits. Now switch back to letters. This is like shift button to use capital letters. Now shift again to switch to small letters. Back to digits again. Once you're done, select OK and press OK. And OK one more time. Connect into the wireless router. Now it's connected, just press OK. Press Home to exit this menu. And once printer is connected manually, it's very easy to add it to your Canon application on any device. Just tap on add switch or plus icon on the computer and register printer. The printer will, will easily be found in this case, like this, just tap on that, acquiring printer information. 
and it's added. Now you can use all the features. By the way, you don't even need to use Canon print application to print files. You can print them right from your file system. So let's open files on iPhone or on Android. So never mind, I select a file we want to print. Now tap on the share button and tap on print. Now select your printer. Make your adjustments, uh, same as in application. And finally, a troubleshooting tip. Uh, guys, if you have some problems with wireless connection, let's say a printer can't connect to a network or your smartphone doesn't see the printer, you need just to reset your LAN settings. To do this, uh, select the gear icon on the control panel, press OK. Now go to settings, device settings, now press upside arrow once and select reset settings. And now select LAN settings only. You don't need to reset all the settings. Select yes and hit OK. Your settings will be reset and you can set up your printer from scratch and everything is going to be all right. So guys, that's pretty it. Now you're all set. I hope this video was helpful for you. If yes, consider to subscribe to my channel to see my videos in recommended. Hit the like button and be awesome. Bye guys.